To security matters, the Nigerian Air Force War College has graduated 15 participants of the Air Force Course 9 2023, including personnel from the Nigerian Air Force, Nigerian Army, Nigerian Navy, and a Cameroonian. Speaking during the event at the Air Force Base in Makoji, a Chief of Defense Staff, General Chris Musa, says the graduation is coming at a time when injecting fresh ideas into the nation's security system has become the top priority of security managers in the country. Mayo Wakumato reports, and after this report, we will bring you updates in business and sports. Stay with us. The Air War College is the highest professional military training institution in the Nigerian Air Force. It plays a role in the articulation of the strategy and doctrine guiding the development of air power in the Nigerian Air Force. The Air Force War College, Course 9, 2023, was inaugurated on the 13th of January this year. The graduating participants consist of 15 senior officers drawn from the Nigerian Air Force, Nigerian Army, the Navy, and the Cameroonian. I have no doubt in my mind that the knowledge gained by the participants from their exposure to joint operation planning and execution has broadened the knowledge as well as strengthened their understanding of the unified and multi-agency approaches to the conduct of warfare as well as crisis management and resolution. The guest of honor, State Governor, urges the graduates to bring to bear the knowledge, skills and professionalism they have acquired in the training to proffer solution to the myriad of security challenges confronting the nation. Hope, the renewed hope, that everything is coming to its best. As you have witnessed all the great grandeurs and honor you have received, when you are out there, continue to be the best you can be for the nation. Placed by non-state actors in asymmetric warfare are on the rise, creating a significantly more complex strategic environment at the global, regional, and national levels. The dynamic nature of these threats poses new challenges to security forces, and they require innovative and proactive methods in tackling them. Doctrinal development, operational planning, and equipment provisioning must cons also consider the complexity of such threats. Certificates and awards were presented to deserving graduates, while souvenirs were given to recognized guests at this graduation. Mayowa Okwatso, TVC News, Makadi.